Hello everyone and welcome to this Python for automation testing series and this is our 14th tutorial and in this tutorial we will learn about the membership operators in Python so let's begin. Membership operators in Python are used to test if a value or the variable is found in a sequence. So basically membership operators are used to test if a value or variable is found in a sequence so when we talk about the sequence here we are actually talking about list tuple and string okay and these operators will help you to check for the presence of an item in a collection and there are two type of membership operators one is in and the other is not in. So basically, when we talk about in operator, it will check if the value is present in a sequence. It will check if value is present in a sequence. And it will return true it will return true if it founds a value. Okay. And wherever, when we talk about not in, it will check if the value is not present in a sequence. So it will check if value is not present in a sequence. So if the value is not present in a sequence, it will return true. Else it will return false here. And when we talk about a syntax here, so syntax is value in sequence or value not in sequence. Now uh, let's go to the PyCharm and let's do some practical examples around these ones. And let me create one new Python file here. I will name it as membership operators and first let's create a list here so I'm creating this for the fruits and let me have a couple of fruits over here apple then orange then I can say banana Okay, now this is a list here. Now, what we need to do is that we need to check is that if a particular value is present in this list or not. Okay, so simply what I'll do is that I will simply go and print and say, for example, apple and fruits. Apple and fruits. So this is what we are checking. So when I run this one, it will say true. And now I will copy this one and paste this one and say apple not in fruits. Now run this one, it will say false because not in means that we are saying that apple is not in this fruits, but this is in the fruits. That's why we are getting false here, right? And for example, we say here, if I check for grape, so grape is obviously not present in the list, right? So now in this case, it will return true here, right? So now let's do similar in terms of the tuple or we can do for the string. So first do for the string here, uh, I will create a complete string here. And I will say Python is a powerful language. Okay, so this is a complete string here. Now, what I need to do is I need to find that a word powerful is in this particular sentence or not. Right? Simply let me copy this one, paste it here. And here I will say powerful and the name of my string is S1. 
Now let's run this one and see. So we got a true. And if I type power full, then what happens here? It will return false because this is in the capital, it's in the small. So in Python, because Python is a case sensitive language, for Python, this powerful is different than this one. So that's why we are getting false here. Okay. And if, if I copy this one and paste it here, and if I say here, not in S1, now this time it will return true because this powerful is not present in this particular string. Okay. Now uh, let's take an example of tuple here. So I will take some numbers here and let's create a tuple. I will say one. Comma two, comma three, comma four, comma five, comma six. Now let me copy this line of code from here and paste it here. Now what I'll say is that if number three is in the this particular tuple, okay. So obviously number three is present. So this line should return as a true, right? But if I type 7 this line will return false okay and let me copy this one and paste this one and if i say not in this tuple obviously 7 is not in present in this one and this is what we are asking we are saying that 7 not in nums and this should return true because this is not present in the tuple right but if i change it to 3 now it should return false because 3 is present in that tuple. So let me uh, summarize the membership operators for you. So membership operators are used to test if the value or the variable is found in a sequence. And when we talk about the sequence here, we are talking about the list, tuple and string. There are two types of membership operators. One is in, one is not in. In operator will check if the value is present in a sequence and not in will check if the value is not present in a sequence and the center says value in sequence value not in sequence and here we have seen the examples of all three so this is a list this is a string and this is a tuple Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial.